thing that we see in our immediate surroundings is our environment. And humans have been interacting with their environment since they started walking on Earth. They are dependent on the environment for food and water. They modify the environment to fulfill their own needs, thereby affecting the environment. On the contrary, the environment also affects them, forcing them to alter their ways. Like how humans wear clothes depends largely on the weather. Warm clothes for winter and loose and light coloured clothes for summer. These are but a few examples of the ways in which humans interact with their environment. Today, we are going to learn about some of the natural regions around the world. We will also learn how humans who live there respond and interact with their natural environment. So first let's see which part of the world we are about to explore in order to understand these human environment interactions. See the zero degrees latitude here? Well. That's the equator. There are two other important latitudes. Tropic of Cancer at 23.5 degrees north and the Tropic of Capricorn at 23.5 degrees south. And the region between these tropics is called the tropical region. The region that is about 5 to 10 degrees above and below the Tropic of Cancer and above and below the Tropic of Capricorn is called the subtropical region. Some of the areas that lie in the subtropical region across the globe are the northern part of India, parts of South America and certain parts of northern Australia. Now if we go near the equator the region between 5 to 10 degrees near the equator is called the equatorial region. The sun's rays fall directly at the equator in a straight line and it is slightly slanted at the poles. Hence, at the surface, the equatorial regions experience a high amount of direct sunlight. This results in large-scale evaporation. This continuous evaporation is the reason why it rains almost every single day over here. As it rains so heavily, you will find thick forests in this region. These forests have grown so thick that the leaves and branches act like a roof that make it difficult for most of the sunlight to reach the ground. Hence, the ground remains almost permanently in darkness. So only shade-tolerant vegetation has the ability to grow here. Such continuous evaporation does another thing. Yes, it leads to high humidity in the air. And as we are aware, high levels of humidity can make you feel downright uncomfortable muggy and sticky. Alright, now let us see some of the regions that fall near the equator. Parts of Indonesia, parts of Central Africa near the Congo River, parts of Western Africa near the Niger River, as well as the Amazon forest fall in the equatorial region. If you like this video and want to watch many many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.